What is up guys, in this video I'm fishing for smallmouth bass from a stand-up paddleboard in a lake I've never fished before. A uh, really good experience, very different, you know, never fished from a stand-up paddleboard and this water clarity is crazy, it's like 25 or 30 foot visibility. So it's very different, very unique and a lot of fun for me though. It's a little tough, but I still managed to catch some nice fish. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, let's get into it. What is up guys, I am on a paddleboard today. Uh, basically, what I'm pretty sure is still right in front of me is probably about 30 pounds of smallmouth. I mean, I'm on a really clear lake. It's a pleasure boating lake. I mean, most of the people are just drunk and boating around and having fun. But I was snorkeling around, saw a bunch of really big smallmouth. Came out here without the GoPro on the paddleboard, first cast. Threw it down there with the jig, got a three pounder. Uh, came back with the GoPro now. I left right after that and I uh, want to get the rest on GoPro. So let's hopefully, hopefully it uh, keeps up with that and we can get some more on uh, our first cast here. I'm traveling really light. Let's see. Last time it was on the first drop, I hit it. Don't want to get too close to him and spook him either. There's one. There's a the smallmouth. Jeez, that's a big one. Oh my gosh, that was while I was moving the oars around. Oh man, guys, this is another big smallmouth. Crap. I'm trying to not stay over him. There's a big one. There's a big one. Or he's not quite as big as I thought he was. But he's still like a good three pounder. Oh my gosh, I am on him. I found him. Second cast, second fish over three pounds. Jeez, I wish I had an anchor. That, that's a three and a half. That's a three. And, that's a big smallmouth. Come here, baby. Come here. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh my gosh, I can't grab this thing. There we go, got him. Oh my gosh. That's a big smallmouth, wow. Look at that. I just got that big smallmouth. I bet this is going close to four pounds. That's a big one on this little finesse jig. I am so hyped up right now. Oh my gosh. That is a big, big smallmouth. That is awesome. Let's let it go and catch his friends. That is crazy, guys. All right, we're going out again. It's day two. Uh, yesterday, I caught that, well, those two smallmouth. I only got one. Luckily, I got the biggest one on camera. The other one was three pounds. First, second one was three pounds, 10 ounces. Um, but then I kind of, it was getting too windy. I had no anchor. I drifted over the fish, kind of spooked them off, and uh, didn't catch any more, unfortunately. But I'm going back there today, because I think that it's a, it's a good piece of structure that's hanging around, and there's not a lot of structure in this area of the lake, from what I've seen. And so I'm gonna go back out there right now, and uh, see if they're still hanging around there. I would imagine they would be. Uh, now I got a drop shot, a jerk bait, and a jig, and also an anchor right here. It's just a rock, but it'll work. So we got very minimal gear here on a stand-up paddle board, but we're gonna try to get it done. I'm feeling optimistic. Hopefully we can get at least a few nice fish. So let's get to it. All right, guys, I'm gonna start off with a jig here. I know I use jigs a lot, but this is what I caught my first two yesterday on, and uh, I've seen a lot and a lot of crayfish around here, so it's probably best mimics the forage around here. But we're gonna still, you know, try a little bit of everything. There we go, there's a fish. That didn't take long, they wanted a drop shot. Oh, it's a little small, and nice. Awesome. Well, maybe I found what they wanted. My first small of the morning, and it's on a drop shot. It's not a real big one, but it's a good two pounder, three pounder, or like, uh, yeah, it's like two and a half pounds, I bet. Great looking fish. First throw in there with a drop shot. I'm glad I did that. Nice. Hopefully I can get a bunch of them here now. I figured they'd still be there. I was getting a little discouraged once I wasn't getting anything on the jig or the jerk bait. But that just goes to show you gotta, you know, mix things up, throw different baits and you know, they might not hit the same thing they hit yesterday because they hit the jig yesterday. Man, it's nice looking clear, clear small mouth right in the roof of the mouth. Oh man, that's a good one. I don't think he's coming off though. Come on, dude. Come on. There we go. That's a good one. 
by two pounder. Awesome fish. Pop that out right here. Came on nicely, awesome. All right, well the scale's not working, but I'll say two, two and a quarter. Oh, there we go. Real nice looking smallmouth. All right guys, I was just paddling to a different spot. That first spot where I caught that first uh, like two pounder was not producing any other fish. And there's a log right there and I saw a little decent little smallmouth, maybe like two or three pounds uh, sitting right next to it. So I'm gonna cast over to it. See if I, I don't know if I spooked him or not, but let's see. All right, well, he wasn't biting, so let's move on to the next spot. All right, guys, so it is like six o'clock in the morning. You can see the sun is just about to rise, probably like 10 minutes or so, and we're gonna do some more smallmouth fishing. This is the third day. It's been a struggle just because I've been on this stand-up paddleboard, and so I've not wanted to go very far, but today, it's one of my last days up here, and so we're, I'm just gonna decide I'm gonna venture out a little farther. It might suck getting back, but I really wanna catch some smallmouth, I know there's some big ones in here. So I'm gonna start off throwing this tube. There's a little buoy right over there where I marked a little sunken canoe and some driftwood. And I've seen a few smallmouth on that. And so we're gonna cast over there. And after that, I'm gonna start venturing around and hopefully find some good fish. Are you kidding me? First cast, guys. Oh boy. That is awesome, on the tube, guys. What? That's crazy. First cast, guys. <laughs> it's not a big one, but awesome. First cast on that little sunken canoe, and it got a little, like, pounder. Nice. So hopefully that's not a bad sign. A lot of times when you get a fish on the first cast, that can be bad just because then you get too excited or whatever, you think it's gonna be a good day, and you end up, you know, not getting much else. But that is great. These, uh, these lake smallmouth, I mean, they look awesome. I'd rather catch these than river smallmouth almost any day just because how cool they look and when they get bigger, they just get so stocky. River smallmouth are usually pretty skinny. Anyway, we're gonna get back in the water and hopefully there's some bigger friends with them over there. Man, it is hard to get over that view. Waking up early is totally worth it when you get to see things like that. You sleep in, you never get a chance to see that, but now, for a bonus, we get a sweet sunrise. Let's get some nice big smallmouth too. We'll keep searching until we find them. Okay, well I ventured out pretty far from where I started. Now I'm paddling back. I uh, did not get any, actually any bites at all um, from where I started. I got the first uh, fish right away in the morning and nothing since then, it's been about two hours. That's what happens when you're on a paddleboard fishing a big lake that you've never fished before. Uh, it, it can be difficult, but I'm not complaining because I've caught some fish and that's, all, that's always awesome when you can go to a lake you've never fished before, understand the paddleboard and still catch a few nice fish. So I'm not complaining, I'm happy about that. I'm gonna go back to where I started from, try to fish those areas again and then uh, see what we can do from there. Are you serious? I got a fish on guys. That was my first cast with the crankbait. Oh my gosh, that was so quick. I, I didn't even anchor down, I didn't think I was gonna get a fish. Let's see it, oh yeah, there you go. Not a real big one, but it's a little small mouth. <laughs> that is crazy. I was just thinking I might as well throw the crankbait because uh, got this little rocky area here. Look how fat that guy is. That is awesome guys. Got this little crawfish crankbait, throwing it around rocks, bumping it off rocks, and that guy didn't even need to bump it off rocks for him. He basically hit it right when it hit the water, I think. All right, well here he is. Look at that crystal clear water. That's crazy, it's awesome. Well, let's let him go, and uh, maybe, oh jeez, maybe there's some more with him. Let's get back out there. Well, that's gonna be a wrap on this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had lots of fun making it. As always, if you did like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. I do plan on making some more fly fishing videos for pike in the river uh, using topwater flies. Uh, I've had some requests for that and I think that'd be a really cool idea. As well as some carp on the fly. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to do that. Hopefully soon though. I think that'd be really cool personally. But if you guys have any suggestions for future videos you would like me to make, fly fishing or conventional fishing, species, whatever, it doesn't matter to me, uh, give, shoot me a comment below or whatever and uh, anyway you can get at 
um, suggestion to me, it works for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. Again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.